Was I good? But Islam is evil. It was a conversation with a taxi driver that led Dr. Mustafa Al Khattab to make this translation of the Quran. Hello and welcome. My name is Talha Hassan. I'm the host of the Absolute History Podcast and a PhD student in Medieval Islamic History at the School of Foreign International Studies in London. Whether you're studying the Islamic or Islamicate historically or on a contemporary basis, you need some kind of familiarity with the Qur'an. Now, it would be inane to say that just because something is in the Qur'an that Muslims necessarily follow it. It's like saying just because the American Constitution allows the bearing of arms that every American somehow bears arms. This hardback edition uh, opens from right to left, like the Arabic language. It's beautifully bound and would make a great gift. We can see it's a collaborative process with editors. Uh, Dr. Al Khattab is originally from Egypt but uh, based in a mosque in Canada. So I want to show you what you can find inside before, I sh- before we get to actual Quran. So the acknowledgements, the translator's notes where you have that story of how Dr. Al Khattab was in the back of a cab and the non-Muslim taxi driver says how the Quran describes non-Muslims as beasts and that was um, the impetus of him to uh, start this translation. Then he has this uh, Arabic uh, introduction but he translates that later. There's also a list of books that he relied upon for his translation. So the introduction is translated for you. And then he mentions his notes. He has the transliteration here. He's got this map and he's also got the names of prophets in the Arabic and in the English. And then, this is quite interesting, he, he, after mentioning the stylistic features of the Quran, kind of structure and emphasis, letters and pronouns, so on, and these common questions of Islam, which perhaps are just more intended for non-Muslims who might get a hold of this Qur'an what I think is particularly interesting is this surahs by themes, it's quite an interesting way and then for each surah or chapter of the Qur'an he and gives its themes let's actually start having a look at the actual content so as you can see he puts his introduction, like a thematic introduction. I think that's really important because I think many people, when they read the Quran, I think they find it very difficult uh, because subject matter seems to change. And there's also a phenomenon of iltifat when the, the pronouns change very suddenly. Um, and I've linked in the description um, an article by uh, Professor Abdul Halim at the School of Oriental African Studies. He also has his own translation. Uh, he has an article on the phenomenon iltifat. As you can see, he put the verses of Quran into these useful paragraphs, thematic paragraphs, and then he has uh, footnotes, quite brief footnotes, for when there needs to be clarity. A very brief thematic index. You can find concordance of the Quran in, online in other places, so perhaps that's why he's kept it brief. And he's also, apart from these certifications from Canadian Council Imams and from Azhar on the other page. He's also given this um, feedback form so people can write back to him on the, with their opinion. I hope you found that brief review helpful. Uh, do leave your comments, they're very, they're very useful to us, and I hope to see you soon.